Hello fabulous ones, welcome back to my channel. I am Marlo Keenan and if you're new here, welcome to the Fabulous Family. Today we are going to be talking about my current favorite things that I have been loving in 2021. Now, every product that I mentioned may not have been released in 2021, but these are just the products that hands down that I have just been using a lot and that I love of this year so far. So if you want to know my current favorites of 2021, then continue to watch. But don't forget, before you leave, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Let's just get into it. All right, all right, all right. Now, let's go ahead and talk about what I've been loving, uh, you know, all year so far. You know, I don't do favorites like every month or anything like that because I feel like I just don't have, you know, I don't go through enough to do that. So, you know, it's almost July. So I do have a lot of products to talk about today. So let's start off with foundation. I'm not literally going in any particular order, but I kind of want to just go in order in terms of, you know, the items and the categories itself so my first item is the Armani luminous silk foundation now you guys know that this is not new or anything like that but I am new to this foundation this year when I got this I was like oh my god this is so so beautiful it's skin like it's my perfect match I did a video of ranking or choosing my top five foundations I will link that above go watch that video and this came right there next to my NARS you know what I'm saying in fact I have mixed the two together my NARS sheer glow and oh my god it is just so beautiful so but this is something that I've been loving this year and then my next foundation is believe it or not say it isn't so is this new morphe foundation again a foundation that you know perfect shade it's really nice it's not heavy although full coverage and it really does give myself a flawless finish without looking cakey i am not gonna lie i do love this foundation and my last foundation is the fenty beauty powder when I tell you this is like super amazing, I mean, I use it a lot. The FB is not even there anymore. I actually use it in a lot of ways. I use it for my no foundation foundation looks, even though it's a foundation. I apply it so lightly with a big powder brush that it doesn't feel like foundation. And I even use this to set my makeup with all over. So it is technically a foundation, but it's that light in the way I apply it you know, I, I feel like it's a set in powder because that's what I use it mostly for. Now, if I want to go in with a kabuki brush, I could get more pigmentation and use it as an all over foundation. But I really use it mostly for setting and, and I absolutely love it. Okay, the next category is concealer. So the first concealer I want to talk about, which I don't is not new this year, but I'm new to it, is the Pat McGrath concealer. And I got this one in number 15. This is actually my skin tone, so I use it on the days where I have those no foundation looks where I just do the T-zone. I don't use it for brightening because it, it won't. Uh, but I am gonna get another shade. But I love this concealer. It's full coverage, but it's not drying under the eye and that's the biggest thing about it. It does still like have this little bit of a luminosity to it. It's not overpowering. I mean, I really, really do love it. And then my next concealer, again, it's not new, but it's new to me this year, is the Jouer, another full coverage concealer that blends out so beautifully. It is just, it is a beautiful concealer. It just covers up everything and again, it does not dry my eyes out. And the last concealer is something else I'm new to the game is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealer. Another concealer. Now this is thick. It reminds me of Tarte Shape and the only difference is is not drying. It's actually very luminous in texture. The only thing I don't like about it is a doleful uh, is a doleful applicator. I don't like the applicator. It's just really super stiff, and that's what I don't like. It's not like plow pliable. Uh, but in any event, I do love this concealer though. 
Okay, the next category are my eyeshadow palettes. Now, this will not be no surprise. One of my favorite palettes of this year, and I have absolutely been loving, is my Natasha Denona Circle Local Palette. I love this palette. My favorite shade is Snow Cone. I mean, it's got all the colors that I love. The textures are beautiful. The cream powder formula is beautiful. You know, I could give or take the orange. You know what I'm saying? I'll take those out and give them. Well, actually, I already promised somebody to them. But in any event, I love this palette. My next palette is Pat McGrath, and it is the Divinity Palette. I love this palette. This palette literally, at one point, I was literally using it every day. You can see it's kind of like tore up and everything. I love this because I could use this every day. I could use the shimmers and then I'll take one of the mattes, usually either the brown or the burgundy, and I will just buff that in on top of one of the shimmers and create just a really nice everyday look that's so simple and so effortlessly. I absolutely love this palette. One of my faves of this year. And my next palette is by Wayne Goss. This is the Moonstone Pearl palette. I absolutely love it. Another palette that I do use on a regular basis. I love the black. It's one of my blackest blacks that I have. I love the blue. I just love this palette. It's so everyday. And I don't even really, you know, get into like the cool, cool tone grays. But these look fabulous on my skin tone. Love this palette. And my next palette is by Midas Cosmetics. Don't forget to save you 20% using code MARLO. And this is the Genesis palette. This palette is so pretty. This is another palette that I find myself using um, on a day to day for work. I love the blue. Oh my gosh, so pigmented. And I just love this burgundy shade, this burnt brown. Even though it's kind of got a hint of orange, it's not like a strong orange. It's more like a brick. And then I love this dark, dark brown. I always love a, to find a dark brown in a palette that I could use because you don't always want to use black. And these shades are absolutely amazing and beautiful. This standard right here, just let me swap. It. let me swatch it. it is so pretty oh my god like look at this look at that shade I mean guys come on it's so gorgeous you guys be sleeping on Midas Cosmetics I'll be trying to tell you this palette is bomb.com this is actually in collaboration with Drench Cosmetics so great great palette and last but not least is another Pat McGrath palette. And this is actually the Bronze Seduction palette. I feel like, you know, this palette doesn't get as much hype as some of her other palettes. And I have no idea why. I absolutely love it. These two shades at the end, the Celestial shades right here at the end, are my favorite Celestial shades out of all the Pat McGrath palettes that I have. These are my absolute favorites. I love it. This palette, you could really take it to the next level. You could go dramatic. You could do everyday, but I use it mostly on the everyday, and it, it's just like one of those perfect palettes. You could make it go left, or you could make it go right. I absolutely love it. One of my top faves of this year. Okay, my next category are like powders and setting powders. Absolutely my top three set in powder. Oh my god is this Dior face and body. I actually have two of them One to set my entire face and then I use this one to bronze when I tell you these are the bomb They're so smooth. Oh my god to the touch Everything and it just leaves your skin looking beautiful. These powders are definitely not heavy They also will leave you feeling like you just got touched by the sun It's very sheer and it has a little bit of, of just sheen to it It's not totally matte and y'all know I am all about the bronze skin. So these oh my god this Dior You're missing out if you don't have it and then my next powder, which is not new at all, but is new to me, is my Charlotte Tilbury Setting Powder. I have this in fair because I use it to set my T-zone. I can't set all over my face with it because it's too light. I need the medium for that, but I love this powder. I can't believe it took me so long to get, you know, up with the Charlotte Tilbury Powder uh, game, okay? Shame on me. Now let's go into some bronzers. Here are some powder bronzers that I absolutely been loving. This year is my Wayne 
gloss satin bronze i absolutely love it it's a powder formula you have kind of a contour on one side and then you have your bronze and powder you put that bronze and powder on top of the contour shade and when i tell you it's the most satiny finish it's gorgeous it really is natural it's just one of these it's just one of those power powders with that pearl iridescence and it just leaves your skin looking fabulous i absolutely love this bronze bronzer and then my next one is by far the charlotte tilbury bronzer i love this this is in the shade tan it is perfect what i love about charlotte tilbury is that she is always using you know skincare ingredients for her products which i absolutely love this is a perfect shade for me it is smooth it is i think as a matter of fact i got the bronzer on today if i'm not mistaken absolutely gorgeous now let's talk about some of my cream bronzers the first one is by Danessa Merrick I absolutely love it I got the shade medium two but I could actually use all the medium she has medium shade one two and three super emollient super creamy I love using it under foundation and I also love to use it on top of foundation it just depends on the look I'm going for in fact I actually got this on as well under my powder today I absolutely love this you guys got to go check Danessa Merrick out I feel like she's underrated okay for real and then last but not least is my Coco Chanel bronzer. When I tell you I love this bronzer, I absolutely love it. It's a cream, a moussey formula. You know, she just came out because with this shade because she only had that one universal shade. I love the scent of it. It's not like a strong scent, guys. It's just very, very faint not strong at all it has coconut oil so for those of you who are allergic you may not be able to get this but i this is like the top three cream bronzer for sure all right my next favorite item of this year is by makeup by mario this is his eye base i love it and look at it look at it i've already hit pan on all of it okay and i haven't even had it for that long but this is what i love about it is because it's one and done it's like you got your base and you got your powder to set and you're out the door i use this for my everyday makeup i don't use it for my like cut creases or anything like that but just for the everyday base this is what i use now the only negative about it is i feel like the cream part of it is gets is dry so what i have been doing i would put a little bit i mean like a drop of whole boy oil on it and just you know mix it in so it could just spread better you know I don't know how that will work for oily lids or anything like that but I mean I immediately go in with the setting powder anyway so that's the only negative I have about it but it's my ride or die obviously I use it every day I mean I absolutely love it one of the best products that he's come out with and then the next favorite item are my brushes they are my Wayne Goss brushes by far this is his edit collection and i love every single brush i mean oh my god they're so soft you know i love the angle part of it this is a hooded eye girl's dream you know look at that the shape of it you could get right into the corners i use this today to set under the eye it gets right there in the crease right there in the you know inner corner i love these brushes they're pretty penny but worth it and then my next favorite are my eyeliners these liners are by makeup geek save you some coin marlo keenan as a code and i love them i need for her to come out with more colors i there's nine of them i just got three here but these are so pigmented when i tell you they stay on a waterline they stay i actually got this shade on today this is the shade midnight and i mean i'm telling you these are really really good they glide on effortlessly they are really really good as much proof you guys don't be sleeping on these liners okay the highlighter that i have absolutely been loving this year and surprisingly it's the charlotte tilbury one and the reason why i say surprisingly is because it is not to me it's not like you know jesus is gonna see me it's not one of my stark highlighters that i love but i love it because i use it every day for work and i'll take more of a fluffier brush and just go right 
on you know the temples right here and the brush that I use diffuses it out beautifully so it makes it look like I'm really having a natural type of highlight from within because it's not so stark but it shears out beautifully and I absolutely love it I literally use this almost every single day and then my next highlighter which is the beaming highlighter is by Jaclyn Hill and this is in the shade bomb and this is a her loose highlighters these are um, when I tell you you'll be like Jesus will see you it's that good and you only use a little bit now you could use as much as you want or as little as you want you know what I mean depending on the look you're going for I mean you could definitely share this out and it doesn't have to be so beaming but this is a glowy highlighter and I absolutely love it. and I've been loving it all year now what I've been loving in terms of my lip treatment is this overnight lip mask by Ace, Lo Ace Logi. I just got this in a boxy charm. It came in PR and I love it. Although it says that to use it at night, I use it on a daily. It feels so good and it smells good. And when you put it on your lips, you could feel like it's nourishing immediately. I absolutely love this lip balm. Okay, for you blush lovers, because you guys know I'm not all into it. However, I am not going to lie that I absolutely love this Pat McGrath blush Desert Orchid. Now, look, look, you see me struggling right now? This is what makes me upset, is that I can't stand the packaging. It's just hard to pull up. But other than that, I absolutely love it. And this blush, like I always tell you guys, it's not that I hate it, I just don't gravitate to it and the blushes that I use are more you know on the bronzy side they're not stark I have this blush on right now but it looks like it's melted into the skin it just looks like I have a flush of bronze color and that's exactly what this blush does I absolutely love it and I've been using it a lot trust me Pat McGrath did her thing on this one Okay, so let's talk about some of my favorite lashes. My favorite lashes of this year by far are the ones from Amazon. I mean, I absolutely love them. They come, I have like five in a package they came and they were like, I don't know, $20, 20 something dollars and they are gorgeous. Like, of course, this is gonna be one of my faves because these are, you know, light of Jesus lashes right there child okay but then you know you do have your kind of your you know non flat of Jesus lashes too so I absolutely love these lashes the other lashes that I do love as well is by Bella Cole Bella Cole the black owned brand her lashes are beautiful these ones are actually 25 mils I mean okay so these are a little bit more focus on the dramatic side obviously I mean super dramatic <laughs> they're extremely long and then these are oh my god I love these as well um, and these are dramatic they're not as long focus but they definitely you know on the fluffy side and all that good jazz I mean oh my god I just love these lashes you guys definitely need to go and check out Bella Co okay so you guys are probably like Marlo you didn't even talk about any lippies and I didn't talk about any lippies because I am a creature of habit like I've been using the same lipstick I use Dreamweaver you know and uh, like all the time so I can't really say I have a favorite lippy that you guys already don't know about for this year so I didn't include any lippies but I did include some non makeup items to the list and oh my god one of them is from Amazon is this baby powder lotion guys when I tell you they have also other scents like lavender and all these other scents this lotion is so good I'm telling you it smells fantastic and what else I've been doing is that I buy these oils as well they're like perfume oils this one is in baby powder so you put this on put a little bit of oil in there and just mix it together and when I tell you you will be smelling all day I get so many compliments on how I smell when I put these two together I absolutely love it and what I love is that these oils come in a lot of scents these oils actually come in scents that are uh, comparable to your favorite perfume like they don't have every single perfume but this one I have that's a match for Donna Karen cashmere ugh, cashmere mist to my cashmere mist perfume so you know I could actually use the baby powder lotion or your 
regular lotion that doesn't have too much of a scent like I love my Nivea put some of this Donna Karen oil in that lotion you know lube yourself up child and then spray your cashmere mist you be smelling all day I mean this I don't even understand why I didn't know about this a long time ago because I love scents and this is the best thing ever I'm telling you like I'm obsessed okay and then my next favorite item is Olaplex. Yes, I done fell down a rabbit hole Olaplex. I love Olaplex. I just got the shampoo here, but I got the whole line. I got the shampoo, the conditioner, the reconstructor, the bond, and the leave-in conditioner. Like, it has did, oh my God. It, it has done wonders for my hair. I absolutely love it. The shedding alone, my hair sheds a lot. Um, and just the shedding alone has decreased. And I feel like my hair is fuller and a little bit thicker. I mean, I, I, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. And then my last favorite product that I want to talk about is this TGIN Honey Miracle Mask. I can't say y'all I am obsessed my friend Lori from it's Lori's life put me on to this it is oh my god it smells delectable and when I tell you it makes my hair not only smell good but it leaves it so nourishing so soft these ingredients are fresh I mean listen to like look water raw honey fruit oil seed oil Olive oil it like it's all just you know it's got no uh, denatured alcohol in it or nothing like that I mean th it this if I don't if you don't take nothing away that I talked about today <laughs> you better take this okay because this is bomb I absolutely love it. Well, this in the oils this in the oils you know what I'm saying Oh my god, I absolutely love it. Okay guys, those are all of my favorite items. I know I was talking fast, but I did that because I just had so many items to talk about and I didn't want this video to be, you know, an hour long. And I'm still working on my lighting so it don't come for me. It's still off, I feel. I just got to practice and it's, it's just hard to get it right. But I'll get it adjusted so if the lighting is weird, you know please excuse that so anyway I hope you guys love this video let me know if you ever tried any of the items that I have let me know if they're any of your favorites or just tell me some of your favorites I would love to know so I love you guys so much always be good to each other and I will see you in my next video bye bye now Mwah.